Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of, of course, the Arsenio Bug Show. And today, as always, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, uh, you know, I got folks out there from China. I got folks from Italy, Portugal, all you guys. If this is the first time you're tuning in, I love doing this. This is to reevaluate my life. This is to reevaluate how successful I was this month. This is to look and see what exactly is happening in my life, to see what areas of my life I'm neglecting, what are my, you know, what were the strengths this month, how did it all pan out. So guys, this is called the Wheel of Life. I do this every month. I do this on a monthly basis to see what's going on uh, in terms of my life and, and, of course, in the specific categories that I actually grade. So here we go. You have eight categories, right? You have personal development. You have physical environment, you have romantic relationships, health, wealth, career, fun and hobbies, family and friends. Now, with these eight categories, I want you to rate yourself from one to ten. You need to be very, very frank with yourself. You need to say, you know what, if I'm not doing well in this specific category, let me find out what exactly is wrong in this specific category. And that's the end of it. So, guys, when it comes down to all of this. I love it because I've been doing this for maybe, ooh, you could go on my blogs, you could go on my podcast, you could go on YouTube, and you could find just about everything and all of the last ones I've actually accomplished and I've done. And man, going back to what happened, of course, at the beginning of this year and seeing how everything panned out, uh, you know, of course, in the later stages of the year, started out slow, started out, you know, basically in the unknown, but now I know exactly what direction I'm going in my life. So personal development, guys. This is, of course, what you are feeding your mind. I've gone over this just so many times. It's all just, it's all habitual. It's all autopilot. So what are you feeding your mind? Are you feeding your mind trash, the trash that you hear on the news, the trash that you hear everywhere? Or are you actually taking control of everything in your life? Are you feeding yourself personal? Are you reading books? Are you listening to uh, podcasts or the audible books or this or that? You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you something right now that actually helped me. No, I'm not getting paid from any of this, but I realized that this has been a significant um, improvement in my life. Now I don't have to listen to the Gary V's anymore. Um, not No offense to, of course, Gary V, but there are some things. I've already – he says I've gotten everything. I've graduated from Gary V, just like I've graduated from Bob Proctor, just like I've graduated from Lisa Nichols, just like I've graduated from a lot of these people. I look to better myself in particular areas. So there's a site called S-C-R-I-B-D, Scribd. Now, Scribd is basically an audio book, but you can actually download books. Now, I was originally looking for um, this specific book online, and then I found it through this website, and I was able to download not only that, but two other books for free. Now, the first 30 days are free. After that, you pay $8.99, $7.99, I think one of the two. And so, of course, I'm contemplating whether or not I want to continue it, but I've been listening to, what is it, Napoleon Hills? Oh, my God, I have it somewhere. Uh, but it's a book that I can't find anywhere, and it's actually Napoleon Hill interviewing Andrew Carnegie, which is amazing. So he's going through everything. I'm learning about you know, l- you know, know, tactfulness and all of these things. It's just remarkable. I'm in Chapter 3 right now. I'm going to make sure I post it. Uh, for you guys, of course, on the blog, so you guys can actually check this out because it is sexy. Oh, my God. And listen, I listen to a book now. I don't have to read it. Now, of course, with the books that I'm doing with Stephen Covey, yes, I'm going to have to read it related to my life, see how you, we can make it actionable steps for you. But this one right here, oh, my God, when I could just listen to it and say, oh, my God, oh, my God, and realize what's happening in my life and related to that and see if I can hurry up and clean up my mess – Dude, that is money. So personal development on a scale 1 through 10. Obviously, this month has been a 10 because I no longer listen to podcasts. I mean, I still listen to Jim Quick you know, once in a while. But I, re- I found out the most significant – the biggest problem that's basically within me. And, and that was basically me <laughs> – I almost choked. That was basically me holding – and it's been me just holding on to something that has happened a long time ago. And you know what? Finally, I've graduated from that. That thought has not come back since I programmed my brain in like 24 hours after realizing that between Sunday and Monday. Now I just don't even think about it anymore. I don't. And the other thing in terms of the the old job and stuff, I don't think about that anymore. So I'm able to program myself very, very quickly. Some people, it would take weeks, months, even years. But yeah, man, I mean, these were the big things that, you know, catapulted me up to uh, a 10 this month. So we got physical environment. Where you live, obviously, um, 
I've actually gotten a new project, and I just love working with these girls, love teaching them, and it's in the heart of CBD. I don't like, of course, the crowding on trains, but who doesn't? Uh, but, you know, being in that area, man, that's my stuff. That's my place, you know? And so it's really easy, of course, to get home, too. I don't have to walk for 15 minutes to get on a bus full of cockroaches. <laughs> so I'm giving myself personal development Give myself a nine, okay? I think I if there are places and areas that I can be better. I think I can get better jobs and I could qualify for better things and get better projects for me rather than just doing it for someone else who's just taking the shit out of all my money. Anyways, so we get into romantic relationships uh, beyond zero. No, actually, I'm going to give myself a two. I know you guys are probably who have been following me here. You guys are like, oh, my God, what's happening? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. But you know what? I'm just grateful, grateful for the process. It could be a friendship. It could be anything. I don't really know. I'm not going to, you know, I'm just going to leave it like that, you know, but I'm actually getting better in that realm. So, you know, there are some agreements that were made and I'm like, ooh, this is going to be a good agreement for me because if I could keep this agreement and be able to at least dedicate 15 minutes of my life to someone else, this could be really good to let someone in my life. So anyways, beginning stages, just the little steps, who knows what's going to happen. But you know what? Again, we'll see if it all does. But if it doesn't, hey, you know what? We still can remain friends anyway. So health, dude. You know what? I did get a little bit. I, I didn't get chunky, but I did pick up a little bit of pounds. I had some blow. I'm going to give myself a nine. Uh, haven't been sick. Eyes are okay finally. Yeah, I think I'm all right. But guys, basically health is eating and how do you feel? How do you feel? How do you really, really feel? Don't lie. Don't lie. How do you really, really feel? Wealth, I'm going to give myself. See, it could be better. I'll give myself an A. It could be better, but it's all good. I know exactly what I'm doing, and I'm finally going to get paid for my podcast for the first time. This podcast that I've been doing for so long. Basically, guys, I get paid out. I ain't got no problem. It's only $10. You know what I mean? Um, but the thing is they pay you out if you hit the $10 threshold. So when you hit the $10 threshold, they give you money for doing your podcast. Um, I've been on this. I just – what is it? Last April when I first went to America, that's when I did my W-2. I put everything in. And they said, okay, so you're going to start making money. And then next thing you know, it just went up one cent, two cents. It took such a long time. I was like, man, this isn't no money making. This is ridiculous. But I didn't really care about the money at that time. Then over the last two months, it was stuck on $5 for the longest. Now it's almost at $10. And I'm like, how did this happen? I don't know how it works. I can't explain it. All I could just, all I could do is just look at the monetization and look at how I make just little its and bits every day. I don't know how it works, but you know what? When I first get when I get my you know my first ever check from this this place, in terms of doing my podcast, I'm gonna be very grateful because now I'm actually getting paid for something I absolutely love to do. So, but that's cool. I mean, it's not gonna change anything about me. It's only ten dollars. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm super grateful. Ten dollars, wonderful. Thank you, thank you so much, speaker. You guys are awesome. So wealth is okay, hey, amen. Wealth next year is gonna be ap- off the charts. Career. Oh, man, if I could give it a freaking 100, I would. Collaborations, guys. Um, I got on a couple of po- – I got on one podcast this month just recently, the past couple of days with Lewis. I'm hoping to get him on my podcast. We'll see how that goes. But he added me, and he's like, dude, I love your energy. I'd love for you to come on my podcast. And I'm like, okay, I don't know how you heard about me. But next thing you know, boom, I got on his podcast and all these women from Romania and Jersey, Jer- not New Jersey, Jersey, the, the country Jersey. It's a channel island outside of UK um, and just everywhere around there. They're all connected with me saying, I love your energy. I love this. What do you do? And I'm like, dude, let's collab. Let's, you know, I love to bring you on my podcast in terms of being a life coach or a health or this or that. It's just remarkable, man. So. I mean, I can't be any more grateful in terms of the personal development and especially my ESL. Po- oh, my God. Just it's just way beyond anything I could have ever imagined. So I'm grateful. Fun and hobbies. We're getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm taking time out, man. I'm giving myself an eight. I'm taking some time out now. Like after, you know, a certain time, because, you know, it's the romantic relationship that's pushing me to go out and say, you know what? Just go have a dinner. Go spend time with someone that actually cares about you. Go invest in them. Go invest into something that's not there and maybe something will happen. I'm actually enjoying it. And I'm getting ready to go to Lao again, but this one's going to be freaking cool because, oh, my God, I'm going in the Bangkok Airways lunch. Holy shit, guys, that blog is going to be coming soon. I'm mega excited about that. When you fly Bangkok Airlines, Bank, I'm sorry, Bank, Bangkok Airways, I flew them one time. Um, it's a boutique airline. So basically all passengers who fly it, they get the free lounge. 
You know those airline lounges? I don't know if they have them in America. I really don't think they have them in America. Maybe like at LAX, but you need to be like a super gold, crisp, platinum member, all that ridiculous stuff to make you feel more HISO-ish. Bangkok Airways, no. They said here at Suwanapum, hey, you got a ticket? Come on in. Enjoy everything. Breakfast, lunch, you freaking name it. Oh, my God, dude. So I'm going to check in early. Like at, I'm going to get to the airport probably around like 645. I'm going to check in. I'm going to get me some grub. I'm going to miss my Dina DeLuca pizza. I always get pizza. That's a tradition at the airport before I fly. But I'm going to miss it. I'm not going to miss the price, though. <laughs> it's, like, it's like $10 for a slice. In America, that's not too bad. But um, in Thailand, it's bullshit. Anyways. I'm giving myself a nine. I'm not giving myself an eight. I'm giving myself a nine. Family and friends. My, uh, you, we already know this story. However, my brother, he was featured on a featurette. Uh, I actually posted that blog. And again, I'm still proud of him. I share all my positivity with him, although he hates me. And it's a beautiful thing because, hey, I think that hate is love. <laughs> I really do. I think hate is love, man. Energy is energy to me. It just depends how you react to it. You know what I mean? Friends. It's not, again, it's more of my, you know what, I'm going to change this right now. I'm going to change this right now, and you guys are like, what are you going to change it to? I'm going to change it to Circle of Friends. This is my new category. Why? Because if you look at everyone who's in my life now and the people I'm collaborating with, I'm going to get ready. I'm doing a podcast with the Team USA girl. She's 16 years old, a cross-country runner out there in America. I'm, and I'm just, I'm just like, I just love hearing things that I could probably implement into my life. I do podcasts with so... I'm just like, you know what? I'm at such a high right now. The frequency is unbelievable. I'm not going to say believable. I'm I'm sorry. I completely bummed out. It's unbelievable. You know what? And that's what I'm so grateful for. For everyone out there who comes to me and, uh, you know, they say they appreciate me. They love this. They love that about me, man. Guys, I absolutely adore it. I absolutely love it. I just want to be thankful, and I'm thankful for all my listeners, baby. We are finishing out this month strong. This year has been by far, by light years, the most successful year of my life. When I set all those goals at the beginning, which I'm going to do starting up in Christmas, we're going to start putting all types of little sneak peek things out there. I'm excited. I'm enthusiastic about everything that's happening right now. So anyways, guys. That's the will of life, guys. Rate yourself. Uh, contact me on Facebook. Leave a comment. Leave a message. You know, talk to me about anything, man, because this is how I do. And with that being said, man, thank you so much again for tuning in. I'm your host, Arsenio. Stay tuned for the next podcast. Over and out.